I get the big Yoshi? Okay, is that a stuffed animal or? Yeah, he's just sitting there. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> just, yeah, he's I just still, there. I still love Donkey. Yeah. I, I am a Donkey enjoyer. He could, he could stand to improve on a few things, but. We could stand to talk about this match, eh, Sturm? We've you got know, two, two of these players could stand to improve on their standing in this bracket, and we'll find out which ones those are imminently. Yeah. Imminently, come on. Honestly, I imminently could be the case because the moment Angelo gets that plunger shot out of the vacuum, the moment he gets that grab, it could be curtains. We saw some crazy punishes from him. Really playing doubles Luigi to a T, right? Which is, I'm gonna be yep. on the ground, and if you in the chaos erroneously believe that you can whip punish me, then you're gonna get this. Oh, but that was a unassisted shield break explosion from Stitch. Stitch nailed the punish exactly as you would expect, as Yoshi is, like, Yoshi's pretty good at breaking shields, as it turns out, if you are too patient with your shield, particularly in doubles. Well, I think what that really came down to as well was that Angelo was, you know, keeping the other member of the team occupied, right? Saying, all right, I've got my down throw, I've got my combo, you've got your shield break. Let's continue these 1v1s. And honestly, there it is. I wanted to bring this up the last time we saw Yellow Team, but I feel like their teamwork is not necessarily like 100% amazing, but what they do have is like the best 1v1 doubles game plan I've seen in a while. Yeah, because they, they're just they so good. Maybe it's not a coincidence that KI is a tournament here this weekend. And they, <laughs> they just have this killer instinct. Combo breaker! <laughs> That's the other tournament, though. But no one's breaking the combos here. Uh, was that an attempt to save your teammate, and then you just, like, both died? That Whatever it was, goofy. it didn't work. I don't I, advise that. I've seen a lot of off-stage attempts in my lifetime. I'm, doing, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, one more, one more Harry carry for the road. Back to the game. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. Thank you, Stir. I'm glad at least one person is entertained, and it is exactly one person. We are doing the seventh inning stretch after this uh, after this set, right? It's, just like, it's like the seventh set stretch, dude. <laughs> seventh set stretch? We've, we've been here for a hot minute. But that is why it is all the more impressive that these players are keeping up their pace and also got to get big props to the red team. Started at a really big disadvantage, but... I mean, this is well within their reaches. If they can just get a quick stock off of Angelo, maybe they can bring it back. And but then as what happened, Kimona? And then and they then lost both happened? of those stocks quickly, and Yellow Team got a one nothing lead in the set. Wow. There, there's still time. There's ah, no more time. Oh, Angelo turned that around, like, instantly. There's no more time. We ate all the time. How did... Okay. okay. And Angelo's buttons. There's got to be like an up B macro and then like up B left and an up B right macro. There, there is an up B macro. It's called up and B. <laughs> but with the turnaround specifically. Yeah, that was clean. Yeah. I'll give it up. Yeah, Angelo and has B, just been. You'll give it up and B? Yeah. I'll give it up and B. That's what my team does when I play Counter Strike. They just give up B. <laughs> And then I'm like, why am I solo retaking with all of my they team give up. dead? And then they send me racist messages. <laughs> why did you take so long to get there? Because I was on A! <laughs> why did you let them rush the site? All right, it is game number two. Stitch and Angelo, I mean, again, so clean. The punishes have been there every single step of the way. And Angelo is not slowing down on that either. Great reaction to this DI as well. Yeah, the the thing about playing these aggressive characters is you have to know like exactly how long you can press your strings, and then when the a, a, a me brawler and a nest they're gonna try to land aggressively in the middle of said string, but they're they're just so tight they know exactly when the gaps are and they're waiting perfectly here on Hollow Bastion. Oh, and the landing bear one into up smash was clean from Stitch. So we do see Angelo's first stock get cleaned up on that right side. Although, now he's not working with Rage, so maybe those combos get a little bit easier to connect. We do see Papa suffer a little bit for it. Nice selection right there on the flip kick from, uh, we do see that from Ariko bailing out of the Luigi's threat zone. 
Does not mean your stock's gonna hang on forever, though. And Papa, unfortunately, interrupting a combo that potentially with that up, he could have even killed. But they both know to be patient in the corner because both of these players are going to be going for aggressive options off of the ledge, right? The red team was just spamming those, like, jump aerials off of the ledge. And Man, they do. I love that from Stitch. Kind of disgusting, but... Like, using that double jump armor to such great effect to say, I don't care about these constant hitboxes of the yo-yo. I'm coming through, and I'm staying alive. Yo, down B to dare across the screen. That was so sick. This damage adds up so fast for the Luigi Yoshi team. And Angelo just bailing out of that ledge trap immediately using that double jump, and Luigi gets great height on his. And look at the response time as well. Man, Angelo is a machine. He's got that youngin' response there. Ooh, no double jump for Papa! Ooh. But Angelo not able to space for that recovery, so Papa does end up being the one to take the stock. Regardless, though, even though Red Team got off to an early lead, Yellow Team is the one continuing to stay ahead. Yeah, and the, the damage adds up just so fast in this game, the Luigi Squadron. It's crazy. That's what these characters do. They build up damage. Mm. And Yosh Yoshi's a 0 to 80 monster. Luigi's a 0 to 80 monster in singles. It's, it's such wild. good synergy on that end. Really nice response with that flip jump right there. I love yeah. that. That cross up from Erico was actually so cool. Papa able to hang on. Both members of the red team at devious percents on their final stocks. Really able to hold it together right now. But what? Both of them. Do they. The egg didn't hit him. The egg didn't hit I, I thought that the egg was a star KO. That was a team KO that killed both of them. I have no idea what button it actually was. I, I did but not But it was a team either. double KO. It, it looked like an explosion. It looked like there was like a snake C4 or something. Give me the production replay, please. If we can get a replay, I'd like to know what in the hell just happened. That was big, goofy energy. Guh huh? All right, I, I, okay. All right, so they both they, get knocked they, off. They, they both the get Up air, it, oh. That nice. must have been Ness fair to the right. Something like that, yeah. They, they both up air, oh, oh, that was the low hit of up air? Okay, okay. That's low so hit of sad. Ness up air. What a, way to, what a way to go down there. We go into game three with yellow team up 2-0, making quick work of this Ness and me brawler squad that we've seen put in so much work, but they're just not able to keep up with this damage output. If I were the red team, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> now, if I were playing on the red team, now I gotta ask you a big old, big old question, Storm, because <laughs> I see people playing this game and it looks like you can move around every which way. And <laughs> Luigi's using this move where he punches you and you hits that straight up into the sky. And I gotta wonder, why do you just not get hit? <laughs> I would simply maneuver the, away from my opponent. Has the other team considered not getting hit by that? It just doesn't make a lick of sense to me. And Steve I'm Stone's just, like, like, an Steve Stone's just like, Harry, man, I, I I'm not paid a, enough for this. I have a deep love for Steve Stone. <laughs> and I'm sad that I don't get to hear him and Jason Benetti trash talk each other every single day. Tragic. Oh, they were such a good duo. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to need to see Jerry Reinsdorf sell the Chicago White Sox in short order. One of these days. For multiple reasons, and that's one of them. <laughs> if you haven't noticed by the tone of our commentary, Yellow Team is in a massive lead right now. <laughs> yeah, the Yoshi's, I love Yoshi stock tanks and doubles where you, you just hold on. Like, you, you can even DI like the, the me brawler up me and stay alive. That's uh, what he's went for a do. down smash in that spot. That, that must have been like a panic moment to try and catch the other one. Man, Angelo doing such a good job of holding on to his stock here as well. Papa off stage, scary situation, but with a teammate ready to cover, you can't just go and re-grab the ledge if you're Angelo there. But, man, again, uh, blue team's just so comfortable taking these 1v1s and dominating in them. That being said, though, I'd go bringing red team right back into this with that up smash. Stocks are even, and again, that can change very quickly. Luigi off stage, he could lose a stock pretty quickly, but instead it's gonna be Papa. And yeah, now, where, where are you gonna go? go? Because both both Luigi and Yoshi have that quick acceleration on those jumps. There's just nowhere to go. Oh, dirty reset, but honestly, Papa was not having any of it. 
trying to go for an early stock. Not going to find it on Yoshi there, though. The jumps, like you said, just go too high too quick. I love using the fair in that position instead of trying to rebound back to your teammate because it will specifically go for, like, the reset on the ledge. But, you know, Gross. just grab him and then Luigi run up up B. That's a tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Beauty and the Beast moving on to the uh, Losers Finals. Angelo and Stitch are looking so clean. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are not really dropping their combos, and they are finding openings. I really want to see them in Grands against the very cohesive and very powerful Raven King and Tata team, because Raven King and Tata do a really good job of playing 2v2s, right? Team yeah. support and let's both focus down somebody. Whereas what we've seen from Angelo and Stitch has just been, let's split it into a 1v1 and let's just do 